Y buenas tardes, este es un mensaje muy importante que hemos considerado conservarlo para nuestro canal del Ministerio. Y eh, acá está el doctor Kimian Bridges eh, con esta plática muy interesante que apareció en Facebook. Bonsoir, eh, sí, um, bon, eh, conférence eh, sur les problèmes de la malédiction qui sont et qui accompagnent euh, l'idée religieuse euh, fait euh, sur euh, les, les personnes qui, qui sont euh, affiliées à, 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 à le ministère. Et attention, à, nous commençons maintenant. Hey, friends, Kina here, and I want to make. Um... Uh, really, really make you aware of something that that um, I've really been pondering about, thinking about. And it says this, you'll be cursed if you leave this church. Have you ever heard that before? Have I ever told you you'll be cursed if you leave this church? If you leave this church, God's not going to bless you. If, you. if you leave this church, the favor of God's going to lift off of your life. You're not going to have God's blessing if you leave this church, if you leave this church. And I want to expose the diabolical plot of the enemy and really set some of you free. If you leave this church, you're cursed. You're cursed if you leave my church. If you leave my church, you are cursed. You ever heard that before? Some of you have lived under that. You've experienced that. Some of you maybe not. But I want to really, 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 really challenge this. Is a person cursed if they leave a church? Does God really curse a person for leaving your church? Now, what's interesting is that many people may not say this out loud. They may not speak it out of their mouth, but it may be in their heart. It may be, let me give you another way of saying it. Let me give you another way of saying it. Let me give you another way of saying it. Well, you know, things won't go well with them. Things won't go well with them. They're not, you know, or a negative sentiment towards someone who leaves. A negative attitude of not wishing them well, not wanting them to do well. Okay? Hoping that they don't do well. These are all forms of curses. And make no mistake, it is witchcraft. It is witchcraft. And I don't care, you can have charismatic witchcraft, evangelical witchcraft, Catholic witchcraft, Presbyterian witchcraft, all kinds of witchcraft, but it's all witchcraft because it's a form of manipulation. Let me tell you something that I learned about God. Not even God will encroach upon a human will. God will not violate the will of his creation. He will let you make a decision, whether it's right or wrong. God will allow you. Yes, will he, will he influence you? Will he try to, try to lead you? Will he try to draw you into the right path? Yes, he will. But ultimately, God will allow you to make a decision that you then are responsible for. Now let me say something else that's really important. And I wanna, I wanna, this is the caveat that I wanna throw in there. Are there negative consequences to leaving a place wrong? Absolutely. Are there, because you understand that dishonor is a sin. And like any sin, there are consequences to sinning. You know, and I'm saying this to people who have left churches. Listen, if you leave a church and you have nothing good to say about that pastor, if you are always gossiping, slandering, lying, backbiting, if you try to draw others away with you, there are definitely consequences to that behavior. God will not honor that behavior because that behavior violates his word. That behavior go, goes against God's word. And in that case, you will reap what you sow. The scripture is very clear. The Bible says in Galatians chapter six, be not deceived. God is not mocked for whatsoever man sows, that shall he also reap. 
So I want to clarify that. Are there consequences to leaving somewhere wrong? Are there consequences to leaving a church and you, you're slandering the pastor? You're talking about the pastor. You're trying to get other people to leave. You're influencing them to leave. Is God pleased with that kind of behavior? Absolutely not. Whether it's leaving a job or a church. However, speaking an imprecation of evil over someone who leaves your ministry or who leaves your church is a form of witchcraft. And what happens is this. This is what happens. I found that one of the reasons why when people tell me or if someone tells me that I'm leaving, even if they leave wrong, I never curse them. Because, first of all, some people, it is God's will for them to leave. Absolutely, it is the will of God. Sometimes you're actually, some people are, are actually receiving more of a curse for staying. Some people are actually in a more compromised position if they stay. And a lot of people, let me tell you what happens. A lot of people are living under a curse that was spoken under, over them by someone in authority. And that's why they can't really join anywhere else. They never really join. They never really join because they're still living under that imprecation. That imprecation of evil that's been hanging over their life, spoken over them by a spiritual leader. That if you leave this network, if you leave this fellowship, if you leave this denomination, God will never bless you. You'll never be able to prosper. I've had things like that not only said to me, but I've had things like that that were said to other people who I minister to. God will not bless you. You're not going to prosper. You're not going to do this. The wrath of God is going to abide over your head because you left. No, you no, that's not true. That's not true. Sometimes people need to leave. For their own sanity, they need to leave. For their own well-being. How you, you can't you have no right to speak evil over somebody because they leave somewhere. People are going to leave. People have a free will. They can leave if they choose to. Now, is that always the best decision? No. Does it always uh, honor God? No. Are there oftentimes consequences for doing something outside of God's will? Absolutely. As there are consequences for doing anything outside of the will of God, including leaving somewhere where God planted you. The question is not if you're cursed for leaving. That's really not the question. The question is, what is the spirit behind your decision? That actually has greater ramifications than whether or not you leave. Let me say that one more time. The spirit behind the decision that you make has greater ramifications than the decision itself. Why you do something is just as important or sometimes even more important than what you do. Can I say that a third time? Why you do something is just as important and sometimes even more important than what you do. The why is more powerful than the what. The, the, the seed in the heart of a man. You know, and this is the selfish part of it because we look at somebody's choice to leave or stay. But what we don't examine is the motivation for doing those things. Are you listening to what I'm saying? Some people are cursed for staying, not cursed for leaving. Because the motive for staying is a curse. The motive for staying dishonors God. The motive for staying... The motive for staying is in misalignment with the will of God. People, There are people that have, they have a wrong motive for staying somewhere. Some people stay for promotion. Some people stay for, some people stay for recognition. Some people stay for acceptance. Some people stay for acknowledgement. Some people stay to get uh, ahead in their ministry. Some people stay because they want something. Do you understand? 
So the idea that you are cursed for leaving somewhere is, is, is not biblical. It's not biblical. And many of you need to break that curse off of your life. And that's why you haven't been able to join a new church in the last 20 years is because you've had that spirit, that spirit of, of, of calamity upon your life. You've had a spirit that you received by someone in spiritual authority who spoke over you and said, if you leave this place, you, I mean, I've heard people say, if you leave somewhere, you're going to get cancer or you're going to have a disease or, 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 or something like that. It is totally, 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 totally contrary to the word of God. It is totally contrary to the word of God. When the Bible talks about people in the New Testament, we have in the book of First John, we have in Third, uh, Second John, we have in the book of Titus, Timothy, we have Paul's epistles, and he talks about people that he released imprecations over. It wasn't because they left the fellowship. It was because of the deeds that they committed. It was because of the sinful behavior that they exhibited. Do you understand? So the idea that you're cursed because you leave somewhere. And I want to set about a hundred people free right now. I break that off of you. Living under the false pretense of a curse because you left somewhere. Because you left somewhere. In the name of Jesus. And listen, if you left somewhere wrong. If you left somewhere wrong, if you left somewhere nasty, if you left somewhere with a wrong attitude, with a slanderous tongue, just repent of it and get it right. If that pastor is still alive and you're able, uh, and, and there, and there, um, and there's a channel of communication, then just say, Hey, I was wrong. You know, forgive me and move on with your life. Break that off of you. That condemnation, that guilt, that shame, break it off of you. Okay. So I break that off of you that, oh, if you leave, you're going to be, we have so many people practicing witchcraft, practicing straight up witchcraft, straight up intimidation, manipulation, control, sorcery, divination, because of fear, because of pain, because of rejection, because of hurt, because of idolatry, because in reality, they've made a, they've made a, a, an idol out of the people they're leading. And that's why, listen, pastors, listen to me. If you make an idol out of the people who walk away, you will always be devastated. You will always be broken. It'll always take you years to get back, years to bounce back. Don't make an idol. They're not yours. These are not your sheep. They're God's sheep. They don't even belong to you. They don't even belong to you. The sheep are not yours. You do stop stamping the sheep. We're out here branding the sheep. You're my sheep and you put so and so ministry and you brand the sheep. Those sheep do not belong to you. They are God's sheep. They belong to God and God is the one who will address whatever needs to be addressed. You can't stop using manipulation to try to make somebody do something they don't want to do. And my God, if somebody wants to leave, let them go. Don't sit there and try to hold someone and, and oh, if you do this, if you do that. No, you're free. You're blessed. You're blessed. Go in peace. Amen. Be blessed. Let your life prosper. Let your life increase. You want to have a great uh, 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 destiny and future. Don't Listen, we have to stop these satanic practices. And listen, there's some pastors. Listen to me, pastors. I know it's hard sometimes. Because here's the flip side of it. People always talk about what happens to the sheep, but we never talk about what the shepherd goes through. And we need to talk about that. We do need to talk about that because it's hurtful sometimes what shepherds go through. It's hurtful when people leave wrong. It's hurtful when people uh, 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 never acknowledge the good that you did for them. When they never talk about all that was good and all that was, was, was um, beneficial. They only talk about the bad. They only talk about all of this. And it's hurtful. It's hurtful. It's hurtful sometimes 
when we are, are in those situations where people don't show appreciation, they don't show respect, they don't show honor, it's hurtful. I'm talking to the sincere pastor, but do not sin in your anger. Do not allow Satan to use you to speak something over someone's life that can damage their future. Do not allow the devil to come in. Keep your heart pure. Keep your heart clean. Do not allow witchcraft to enter into your heart. Don't become a warlock. Don't become somebody's soothsayer or, or diviner. Don't do it. Do not allow. That's not God. You are not cursed because you left somebody's church. You are not cursed because you left someone's ministry. That's not God. And I, I deliver you. I, I just speak freedom over you. I release you from that. I release you from that. That belief, that attitude that you're cursed because you left the church or you left the pastor or they told you you would never be this, that, or the third. The devil is a liar. The devil is not. Listen, the devil's a liar. I often hear people say, your destiny is not attached to who left you. I've heard people say that. Have you ever heard people say that? Your destiny is not attached to who left you. Well, let me give you an equally true statement. Your destiny is not attached to where you left. And some of you need to sever a connection to where you left. You need to leave. Listen to me. You need to leave. And when I say leave, I mean leave for real. Don't just let your body leave, but your mind's still there. Don't just let your body leave, but you're still attached emotionally. Sever the connection. Leave for real. Let go of it for real. Some of you are attached to things. People in your past, situations in your past, and you've defined yourself based off of where you came from. My God, and it works all kinds of ways. Some of you still talk, well, you know, back, I'll never forget 1922 when I was at that first, first church of, of Barthusala. No, 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 no. It, you got to move on. And some of you, the reason why you can't actually join anywhere new is because you're still attached to where you left. You've actually never left. That's why you can't join anywhere. That's why you can't actually submit to any pastor. Some of you have that vagabond spirit because you're still operating like Cain. There's, there's a curse that you've been operating under because you've received negative words spoken over you. You've received evil that was released over you.